Tropical Storm Freddy is still alive and spinning, causing havoc in the Mozambique Channel after almost 30 days. It's now just off the coast of Madagascar after acting more like a ping pong ball here in the Mozambique Channel. First moved over Madagascar, then slammed the coast of Mozambique, made a U-turn back to Madagascar and is yet expected to make a U-turn this week in a northwestwards direction and will strengthen back into a cyclone and is also set to break the record for the longest lived storm on record and will slam the southern coast of Madagascar on Saturday morning with strong winds as well as heavy downpours. Back home we also have a second strong cut of low sitting just off the west coast and will bring more stormy conditions for the western, southern and central parts of South Africa on Tuesday. So here's the forecast. That's right, a second cut of low where the first one caused heavy downpours as well as a flooding this weekend over parts of the western as well as the southern Cape. Cape San Grabo, Swellen Dam as well as Stilby broke their record for the highest rainfall in 24 hours for the month of March. We're close to 100 millimeters bucketed down over parts of the Overberg as well as the southern coastline. Nelson Mandela Bay got some decent rainfall, but we know they still need loads more. Dams are below 12% full, and we know only 6% of that water is usable for Nelson Mandela Bay. But we've got that second cut of low that is expected to bring stormy conditions on Tuesday. Well, yet again, the Western Cape storms will move over the southern coastline, become widespread and severe here in parts of the Karoo, in the Western Eastern Cape, as well as the southern areas of the Free State. Also, a band of scattered storms Storms expected to extend over northwest the rest of the Free State and into Tuesday evening, reaching the western parts of Halting. That cut of low sitting just off the west coast, so we are expecting a few thunderstorms since early year over the ocean, and then they'll move over the west coast. Later moving over parts of the Swatlands as well as the Boerlands and the Overbrook. Cape Town, you can yet again hear a rumble, a few isolated thunderstorms in the forecast, and into Tuesday evening, stormy conditions expected to reach the Little Crew as well as later move over the Garden Route. But most of the day, we're expecting a easterly wind to blow with partly cloudy skies. It's from later afternoon that we are expecting scattered thunderstorms to develop over the central and northern areas of the Eastern Cape and by Tuesday evening overnight into Wednesday a few of those storms are likely to move over East London as well as parts of the Wild Coast. It's a mostly cloudy day in KwaZulu-Natal. A few morning showers expected later partly cloudy skies with isolated thunderstorms likely from late afternoon. Also becoming partly cloudy in Pumalanga temperatures in the mid to upper 20s and very isolated storms in the forecast for the high felt and mostly cloudy skies for the low felt. Also cloudy in Limpopo over the eastern areas, light showers are likely on Tuesday and then into the evening a few heat induced thunderstorms expected over the bush felt. Temperatures expected in the mid to upper 20s for northwest later becoming stormy but a northerly wind picking up ahead of the thunderstorms over the western areas. We're also expecting that northerly wind to gust and blow strong at times between Uppington and Postmasburg ahead of that band of thunderstorms stretching all the way from Uppington over the eastern and central areas of the Northern Cape, later reaching the Free State. Also windy conditions ahead of thunderstorms with scattered thunderstorms over the southern areas becoming isolated over the east. It's a partly cloudy day in Halte, warming up quickly 30 degrees in Pretoria. It's only on Tuesday evening we're expecting thunderstorms to move in from the west. And then into Wednesday, that cuts of low quickly moving away from South Africa. Only a few isolated storms over the eastern areas. Most of the stormy conditions clearing up on Thursday. A few isolated thunderstorms left over over, over KwaZulu-Natal as well as Mpumalanga, but then we do have a weak cold front reaching Cape Town expected to bring some light rain for the southwestern coast. Well, that's all from me and remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.